So, grüß Gott uh, und guten Morgen. Good morning. That was about the only thing in German I'm going to say today. Uh, a warm welcome to all our guests. Thanks for accepting our invitation to the 10th anniversary, our, our 10th birthday of the research center that GE has built here on the campus in Garching. And I want to welcome, in particular, among the many important guests that we have today, I'd like to welcome three individuals who have been here at the very beginning when everything happened, namely during the groundbreaking ceremony in the summer of 2003. And let me start with the uh, special guest, Otto Schilly, who has been Minister of the Interior back then. And he has been here not only for the groundbreaking, but also for the grand opening. Um, then we have uh, Manfred Solbrich, who is the mayor of the city of Garching back then. You also have actually been there for both events, if I remember correctly. And the city of Garching was a very important partner in setting it all up. Then we have Nani Bikali Falco, who was head of GE International back then and is still in a similar role, but primarily today leading GE in Germany, which is a new organization that he has created a couple of years back and that is in full swing by now. And of course, need to also thank the Technical University and maybe Dr. Ehrenberger, you in particular here. You actually have been working behind the scenes 10 years ago to make it all happen too, together with uh, Professor Wolfgang Kermann. So, and otherwise, of course, welcome to everybody. It's great to have you here. I'm just going to reflect very briefly on our journey here over the past 10 years before I look ahead in what's next on our list of great things to do as a company, but also with our partners globally for the economy and for the people at the end of the day. So we started out here with a really small team, actually not in this specific site, but actually next door in the gate building with a handful of guys who had an idea of what would make sense to execute here in Germany as an R&D scope. You might think of a few things that come to mind immediately, uh, like what should we do in the space of renewable energy? Given that was Germany, Germany's investment in the renewable energy space, it made a lot of sense to do that here. Healthcare, a very important topic, a region where Germany is strong, diagnostic imaging in a sense, makes perfect sense. You look at manufacturing technologies, something that I think the world is again looking to Germany, say like how have you actually managed to increase productivity over all these years and remain competitive in a, let's be honest, fairly high cost environment that we are in today. So industrial automation, robotics, and all the improvements in supply chain management, a lot of that I think Germany is really good at, and it made sense for us to do that as well. Then there is a core strength in Germany that maybe the insiders know better than the broad public, that is basically in turbine machinery applications. So turbines, jet engines, uh, be it compressors for industrial applications and whatnot, there's a strong talent pool in the regions, so there's strong companies here, there's a very strong supply base and there's very demanding customers who are always good for us to work with. So those four pillars, if you will, today still make up a majority of the work we do. If I look at the renewable space alone, this is not just about aerodynamics for wind turbines. It is energy storage, it is inverter technology, it is grid integration, it is management of grid, and today increasingly moving from large centralized generation to smaller decentralized concepts. So over the course of 10 to, 50 to 11 years here, starting from the humble beginnings, the team has grown to a size of approximately, in total, 250 people in the building, spread out over, I would say, a variety of disciplines and different functions. And thanks to that good growth and I think the good impact the team has had, we actually managed to convince the company that it would make sense to keep investing in this site. And you have seen when you came here a large construction ongoing. That is our expansion building. It will be finished by the end of next year. We hope to move in by January 2016. It would give us the capacity for another 200 people that then hopefully over the next couple of years are going to strengthen what we do today, but also explore a few new frontiers and maybe explore a few new areas of expertise for us to develop here. And that again, need to have a specific tie to what the region, Germany, Bavaria, and Europe overall is good at. So that was the past, but looking ahead into the future, I'd like to quickly introduce a video we have about what we do think is next on the plate for everybody in science, innovation, and technology. <laughs> 